and many are wondering how this could affect DHS employees here in the valley and the security of the border. Action 4's Annalise Ortiz found out what a local bridge owner had to say. Annalise? Nicole, bridge owners tell me that a potential shutdown would not affect the employees at international bridges like Gateway International Bridge in Brownsville. Now, I spoke with Sam Vale. He is the president of Star Camargo Bridge Company in Rio Grande City. He says the potential shutdown will mostly affect his employees' overtime pay. Now, that could affect bridge wait times, causing delays. However, his employees do not face the threat of furlough at this time. Action 4 News also talked to the superintendent of bridges in McAllen, who says he expects bridge time to be just as long as they normally are. He says that's the way it was during a previous government shutdown. That they could be, you know, an hour and a half, two hours sometimes, depending on, on if there's a holiday or, you know, any good sales in McAllen or, or Mission. But, uh, you know, during the week, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, sometimes less, depending on how early you get here. <laughs> Those who are furloughed will be non-essential employees like secretaries and administrative staff. Vale tells Action 4 News that his employees on the border who conduct vehicle inspections and those inspections of passengers coming through are considered essential. Now again, Congress has until midnight tonight to make a decision on that DHS funding bill. Republicans say that they will uh, appeal any short-term funding bill that does not remove Obama's executive action on immigration. Again, that's where this whole debate started. Now you can count on valleycentral.com to bring you the latest updates on this developing story. You can also download our Action 4 mobile app. Live at the Gateway International Bridge, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 Sunrise.